Hello Leo and welcome to your reading for April the 10th or the 20th through the 30th. Your stone people card, buffalo medicine, yay, abundance. Spirit animal is the antelope. Life is speeding up. And we have the eagle, sacred bearer of unlimited happiness. Wow. Those are awesome already. Okay, we're going to do these cards this week again. Stay in the present moment. Keep your attention on today and stay in the present moment. This is the beginning of a new understanding, a new dream. Awesome. Okay, our first stone is Turritella. Deep connection to earth, roots, and ancestry. The ancient life contained within it lends the power of wisdom and healing. It helps you to stay humble and let go of any sense of superiority and be open to new experiences. We have the painted face and self-expression. How do you see yourself? And how do you present yourself to the world? Is it behind a mask or are you showing your true self? Okay, Sister Moon says, <laughs> show the world the real you. Oh, that was awesome. We have the night. Be brave and honest. It is not easy to be your true self in this world. Okay, and then we have Koala Spirit. Spirit has a plan. Awesome. Okay, our second stone is fossil. Ditch the old ways. Transitions, transformation, personal growth, and inner stability. Ah, and look what we got. Shaman's death. Death and rebirth. That is awesome. This is not a scary thing. This card, we have a video in uh, a deeper look that explains this card better. It does not mean physical death. Okay, I know that the card looks a little scary. No, it is the death of something that is no longer serving you. That could be old habits, bad habits, people, jobs, etc. Something is going to change for the better. Sister Moon says, ooh, prosperity lies ahead. That's awesome. The Earth Guardian, stay rooted and grounded. That means spending time in nature. And then we have, oh, dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. So we have some transitions here going on, a change. Okay, our third stone tells us that. It's Malachite. Transformation, openness, love, helps you to control your emotions, is known as the turnover a new leaf stone. Okay, and we have, uh-huh, rites of passage and change. So what happens here with this death and rebirth? Changing your perception, changing your beliefs, making changes, healthier changes in your life. That's what's going to bring this about. Okay, Sister Moon says, oh, expect 
powerful change. Wow. Okay, and we have the summer bask in joy and light. And crow spirit, co-create with spirit. Don't try to do it on your own. Remember that spirit has a plan. Okay. So we have um, how you feel about yourself and present yourself to the world can bring about a change, a good change. So that's what we really need to work on this week is totally being yourself, not worried about what other people think in any way, but being yourself. Okay, and then we're going to get a bonus stone today. So we're actually going to draw a card here. That's how many stone cards we have. Look at that. Okay, let's go for this one. Chrysocolla. Oh, one of my favorites. Right here. Chrysocolla. Isn't that a beautiful color? Compassion opens the heart to love, points to opportunities, cleanses the aura, and aligns the chakras, and is known as heals the broken hearts stone so that is awesome really good reading we've got abundance things are speeding up it's all about how we present ourselves to the world okay and then we're going to end with a quote today as you write your own stories out in the world i hope each chapter makes you happier than the one before I hope that when things get complicated or challenging, you'll remember how strong and talented you are and know that you have what it takes to handle anything that might come along. And I hope that you'll always, always feel the deep love that is with you today and every day. Peace, love, and light. Until next time.